Sorry, who's that? At the back? Good morning. That's a hand up already. That's one five. Off and running. This is going to be a fun option. Thank you. Uh, good morning and welcome on behalf of the PRD only team who, as always, have done a superb job marketing this property on behalf of our lovely owners. Uh, James and Emily have been the dynamic duo up front, but of course, the team is always out. Jack and Daisy and myself, Michael, we're simply here to help anyone who wishes to purchase, purchase. But if you would like to buy and bid at today's auction, there are a few terms and conditions which you must agree to. They're on display here and inside the property. Quite simply, if you wish to participate in the bidding today, you have to have registered. So if you're yet to do so, please speak to a number of the team. I do see a number of bidders paddles already, so I guess a number have already done that. To confirm one of your offers, I will need to see a flash of your bidder's number each and every time. The owner of this property there is entitled to one bid. It's known as a vendor's bid. My preference is not to use them, but I have done on occasion. I will let you know it is a vendor bid, and of course at the price point at which it is placed. If any of you are bidding on behalf of an absentee or third party, then I will need to cite a copy of your written authority to do so. The contract is clear, precise, it's unconditional on auction day. Settlement is scheduled for 42 days time. 28th of December, we'll be working, because that's what we do in really December, I'm sure this list as well, so settlement will be in and around those certain dates. For sure, but I know a couple of you have requested changes to those specific terms. Having had those amendments approved by the owner's solicitor, then I would encourage you to bid with confidence under those terms. If not, I'm gonna take this original contract and the terms of sale as being both read and understood. Parkland Avenue. It says it all really. Wonderful corner position, I suppose you'd call it. Frontage here, long wide frontage, wonderful full brick home, offering a wonderful free flowing floor plan. You have a choice on entrance. Go right, have dinner, flow out onto the rear yard. Go left to entertain, flow out onto the entertaining terrace and your front lawn. I've got three little children, much the same age as this little lady here, and my goodness, do they love the new adventure playground at the park. I love it because I used to go about an hour earlier after the trip to that park. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful family friendly neighbourhood. As they grow older, well, schooling becomes a priority. And Oakley Park West is a hop, skip, and a jump. Really, you can send them on to walk at the age of five, is my suggestion. Get them on. That gives you added time to enjoy all the amenities that Oakley West has to offer. So for me, we have a lifestyle proposition here today in full brick accommodation, full beds, bonus little studios at the back, all of their slug in real estate terms, a single lockout garage, 580 squares. Today, we're going to find out what it's worth. But I need an opening bidder offer. Another few people on Park Avenue. Would you like to set the pace? 1455. 1455, he's come bolting out of the gate. He's been well trained. I'd like to start at 455 to be at 1455. Looking for 65 to call it back, but at 455 it's 65 on the right. At 65, 75 is your chance, at 465 is at the back. 75 the offer, 85 is your chance, at 85 go to 15. At 485 is the bid at 85,000 plus to 14. Can I say 15 at 85 is the bid? At 485, bid away. It's in your favour. At 1485, at 15 is the offer, where do we go? At 510 the bid, at 510, where do we go? 20 the better bid. At 510 is here. Can I say 20? 510 the bid. At 510, bid away now, a million. 510,000 once, twice, third, all done. Are you out, sir? 510, you never end up. You never, you never set your budget up on a round figure. Top tip, you've got some good advice. They've a couple of purchases who are giving you good tips today. If you set your budget at 1.5, you should always have a little bit more in your back pocket. Bids at 510, I'll let you talk to the boss. At 510's with you. Well, I'll call it away, very simple. At 1510's the better bid. Two in the race, but multiple other parties. At 1510, oh, it's in your favour. Any better offer? At 510, once, twice, third. Any better offer? At a million. 510. Emily, are we in? Nope. 510, sir, are you in or out at this price point? 510, give you a moment to reconsider your position. Emily's going to, oh, no. James is having a quick conversation with our owner. The bid's at 510. Going to give everyone here a chance. You're in pole position. Do bear with us some moment. A little bit quicker than expected. At 5.10 is the better offer. I thought there might be a bit more meat on this one, but at 5.10 is the bid at the rear. Good property, good position, and the market is back. 5.11. 5.11. 5.11. 5.12. Uh-oh. 
I should never take the singles, but I do. 13? Can't have added it to a single. You sure? You said no a couple of times, sir. Yeah, I did. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right, I've got just justice. Rules. No drama. People say no to me all day on a Saturday. 512's with you at 512. James is right next to you. You couldn't have got any closer to that purchaser, potential purchaser, that is. At 512's at the rear at 1512. So, are you sure, sir? At the front, bit of number nine. At 512, it's much more fun if you have a go. You sure? Single might pinch the keys. You sure? Oh, I don't want that. That would be awful. 512, let's disclose that when we sell it next time. 512 to Benedict. It's with you at 512. Now, here we go. At a million. 512 once. Twice. Third. No better bit. At a million. 512. You sure? 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 Bear with us. The body language is the thing for me. It's checking with the missus. The missus is not giving me the piss off look, if you know what I mean. Excuse my name. 512 is a bit. Bear with us a moment. It's very calm. Might need to come back to you to sell this. At 512 is up on the terrace. Well, James has confirmed that we're not quite where we need to be, so do bear in mind what your next offer will be, because at 512 is the bid. James is going to have that conversation with our highest bidder. I don't have permission to sell at this price point. At 512, that has bought you some time. Paddles on the floor, that's a bad sign. 512, it's good to, you, the good thing is, at this price point, we do get to meet again. So if I were you, I'd be paying to get me out of your life. 512, the market's back, it's flying again, sir. Looks like your family bought very well 18 months ago on Edward. Very good purchase that was, sir. In fact, there's one on your street, a two better than wants one for. You made a couple of hundred G. I'd love to do the same for you, sir. This market is back. 512's there on the right. Mum says I'll lend you a thousand. <laughs> I heard it. I'll lend you a thousand bucks. Be the best investment you ever made. We could almost agree to take the capital growth on your thousand bucks. We'll give it back to you next year. It'll be worth more. The next one's going to cost you at 512. Have I had your best? Yeah, I know, but I'm letting you know that we're not quite where we need to be. You've got the highest bid, but it doesn't mean it's the purchase price, sir. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now, sir. That's all I do. 512. 512, the bid. I want to get let the mums talk to now. Look, bank of mum and dad. Very low interest rates. You sure? What did mums? 100%? All right, I'll leave you alone for a moment. On the left, she's turned her back. She's checking with the husband. There was a murder on the cards if she bid. I would like to see if they've negotiated those terms. 100%. 5.12. Out. Worth a try. You've got more influence than I have, I bet. At 5.12 is the offer. James has had a conversation with our owner at 5.12. James is going to let them know what is the purchase price to buy it now price today. But 5.12, not quite where we need to be. At 512. Give Jack a moment. You can see the team working hard, Emily also. 512 the bid. Might have to put my vending doors bid in. It's been a while since I've used it. I will dust it off and throw it in if I have to. <laughs> Hasn't been needed. Been some exceptional results. We just sold 1,000 squares around the corner. 2145. Excellent sale figure. Dad's back. Hello, Dad. <laughs> It's great when you get to meet all the locals every, every Saturday. Family, we've done brothers. Brother-in-law is back to purchase today, but he's in second place. He's not buying this price. The bank's up here. Are you the bank? Are you the dad? Oh, wow. Let's have a quick conversation. What kind of return would you want for $1,000 you're about to make? Come on, Dad. You're dad. You look very good, sir. 512 to me. Well, our owners have made a decision. And if it affects your strategy, if there's no better offer, 1512 is the high bid, and we will sell at that price subject to no better bid, no better offer. Now's your chance. At a million, 512, it is selling. I'm going to call it away. 512, the offer once, twice. Don't put your hand on the paddle and expect me not to talk to you. I'm right, you, sir. You've got your hand on the paddle. It's selling. Are you sure? 512, you're done. Once, twice, third in your favour. At a million. 512. 
You sure? Sure? See, Sid, you sure? Yep, got to ask. Um, all done? Sold! Congratulations! A wonderful result for our owners and the new purchasers. Welcome.